Child delivery, also known as labor and childbirth, is a complex process that involves several stages as the body prepares to bring a baby into the world. This process typically unfolds over several hours to days and vary greatly from one woman to another. Here's a detailed overview of the stages of delivery. Pre-labor, medically termed the latent phase of labor starts before active labor begins. Some women may experience pre-labor signs, including Braxton Hicks contractions, which are irregular, often painless contractions that can occur weeks or even months before labor begins. During the latent phase, the cervix begins to soften and thin medically termed effacement, and to open or to dilate in preparation for delivery. A pink or blood-tinged discharge medically termed bloody show may occur as the mucus plug, which seals the cervix during pregnancy, is expelled. The water may also break at any stage of labor or as labor progresses. The healthcare workers may also break the water, a process termed amniotomy. The next stage is termed the, the first stage of labor, and it is divided into two phases, early labor and active labor. The phase of early labor can last for several hours to days. During this phase, contractions are mild to moderate, irregular, and may become gradually more intense. They help to thin and open the cervix. The cervix dilates from zero to about three, four centimeters. This phase ushers in the phase of active labor, which typically lasts three to eight hours. The contractions become more frequent, every three, five minutes, and intense, lasting about 45, 60 seconds. The cervix dilates from about four to seven centimeters, and women may experience increased pain and pressure. The active phase of labor ushers in the transition phase of labor, which is the most intense part of labor, lasting about 30 minutes to two hours. During this phase, the contractions are very strong, occurring every two, three minutes and lasting 60, 90 seconds. The cervix fully dilates from eight to 10 centimeters. Women may feel overwhelming pressure and may experience nausea, shaking, or intense emotional responses. The second stage of labor, also termed the actual delivery, can last from a few minutes to several hours, depending on various factors such as whether the woman is delivering the first child or has had several previous normal deliveries. Once the cervix is fully dilated to 10 centimeters, the woman can start pushing with each contraction. The urge to push may feel overwhelming as the baby's head moves down the birth canal. The woman will be guided by her healthcare provider on when to push and how to breathe during contractions. The third stage of labor is the delivery of the placenta. This stage typically lasts about five to 30 minutes after the baby is born. Mild contractions continue as the uterus contracts to expel the placenta. The healthcare provider may gently pull on the umbilical cord to assist in the delivery of the placenta, which separates from the uterine wall. The placenta, along with the remaining membranes, is then delivered. Once the baby is born, the healthcare provider places the baby on the mother's chest for skin-to-skin -skin contact, which is beneficial for bonding and initiating breastfeeding. We explored the second stage of labor and the mechanisms involved in how the baby moves down the birth canal in greater detail last week. Be sure to check it out. The link is attached at the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay updated on future videos, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel.